Hello everyone, welcome back to Next Selenium tutorial. So today we are going to see two of the XPath access methods that is Ancestor and Ancestor or Self. So Ancestor selects all the Ancestor which includes parent and grandparent everything with respect to your current node or context node. Right, all the all the grandparents and parents everything it will select when you are using ancestor method right so the syntax is very simple so we have to use a double forward slash tag name so within square bracket we have to write either we have we are going for an attribute and value or if you want any export methods that we can use it and then we have to use single forward slash and ancestor so this is the method name then we have to use double colon after that we have to use the tag name so this is very basic syntax that we can use it for any expert access methods right so and then ancestor or self so the def definition is uh, pretty much similar with to the ancestor but ancestor or self selects the current node and current context node also that is one more element will be added into the ancestor or self the syntax also will be pretty much similar except the xpath access name right that is x uh, ancestor or self that we have to use it right so today let's take this particular zoho.com uh, website where i'm going to write uh, some uh, something i'm going to type in this full name so this xpath can be found based on your third input tag so that i'm going to use ancestor or ancestor or self any one of the uh, xpath access method name right let's try this so how exactly that ancestor works let's understand uh, this one so this input tag name it has parent as div so this is the one ancestor and its parent and this elements parent and this elements parent and like that so parents of parents like that it will keep going those elements are called as ancestors right so here if you take these two elements these two will not come as a ancestor for these elements because this is not a parent of any element which comes in the hierarchy of parent for any of these elements or one of these right so that is called ancestor let's understand uh, how how can we uh, find out this ancestor let's take this input tag uh, this based on class name right this is the unique one right within square bracket we have to write at the rate because we are using attribute name so within single quotes let's give this value so this is absolutely fine to find out sorry one quote is missing absolutely fine to find out this particular create password right now how can we use expert access method ancestor so use single forward slash ancestor this is the access xpath access name we have to use as it is double colon what is the ancestor you want to locate with so i want to see how many ancestors are there so for that what we have to use don't use any tag name directly use asterisk so it will list on how many ancestors are there it has 19 ancestor so that is this particular one input tag element let's find out where it is this one so this has 19 ancestor right see it, it starts from this is the second one it starts from your html tag this is the html tag sorry guys this is the html tag this is the first one and we can see it is pointing currently to second one and third fourth fifth like that it will keep going so it, you can see only the parents will be selected right it, it does not selected this ul element and it will not select this also because that is not the parent currently not down so this selected this one and it will go directly to this right so it is not selected this one. and this will not select this also see it is going like this so it, it will keep going like only the parents will be selected and these two will not be selected directly coming here and this one right so you can see 19 of 19 and it is not selected the context node this is the context node right it is not selected because we have selected only the ancestor if you want this also to be added so we have to use ancestor or self you can see over here the 
number of elements has increased so which means one element increase that is your current context node right so that is the currently pointing to this one right that is the difference actually between ancestor or ancestor or self now coming to the point now i want to type in this particular uh, input text box used on this create password input text right now we are taking this as a context node create password and i have to type in this right so what is the ancestor for this it comes under form right let's write that particular web element right now it's currently pointing to this and this input tag comes under this div expand this expand this this is the input right let's put some logic over here form double slash because we wanted to select one of one of its children what is the element input but we have 13 input so we have to filter out this particular one so it has name sorry id so we can take that as an attribute and we can filter out right like this we can write it right that's all you are in, in your export is ready so we can use this particular input text and we have we are going to type in this right let's see some example over here so this is the export we have to use you can use either ancestor or ancestor or itself it will return the same right so over here i have written already some uh, code to save the time so take this driver dot find element by dot xpath so this is the single xpath we don't have to use anything else uh, to type in this right dot to type we have to use send keys method i want to select this is the ancestor demo that's all right so now i i wanted to just try running it what will happen right it has to open maximize and open this over.com and type in here right it has typed ancestor demo that's all so we have used ancestor ourselves let's try uh, just ancestor again it will do the same it has to type in here right ancestor demo it has typed so the point is we have used the other field to locate the another field right that's where your export uh, ancestor export access will come into picture right so that's all from this video guys if you love watching my video please keep uh, like my video and if you have any questions or if you have any doubts please leave it in the comments thanks for watching